Now, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayebwa, has uh, told uh, and cautioned members of Parliament against making reckless statements. He warns that some comments are undermining the integrity of Parliament. This comes at a controversial um, event that is surrounding the upcoming regional parliamentary sittings that does continue to escalate, with legislators still divided over the matter. Leader of Opposition in Parliament, Joe Sanyini, recently revealed that Parliament plans to spend 5 billion shillings on each of the four regional parliamentary sittings, a sparking debate among MPs. When you hear the figures that are going to be spent, it could even be a lot higher than this. And that's why, as you hear some sections of the public saying, maybe this is another ploy to account for money that is being stolen. But while chairing the Thursday plenary session, the Deputy Speaker Thomas Tewa dismissed the claims. I don't think we are spending six or five billion for the sitting, for the proposed sitting. Okay? Uh, uh, no, and uh, I read, is it five billion per day? So 20 billion, and now the public is saying that you stop those sittings so that we pay in terms. Yeah, so that we place in time. The Deputy Speaker is now advising MPs to be mindful of their statements, warning that some comments are undermining the August House. And, uh, and, and I tell you some of the statements we make here. We, uh, we open fire against ourselves indirectly. In, in, in this house, if we think some of us will go clean others, that uh, it might end up all being, you know. I would like to appeal to members of Parliament let not not politicize this exercise. Meanwhile, MPs from Northern Uganda are divided on the issue with Tokolo South MP Felix Okoto Gong defending the regional settings. He says all MPs from the region are involved in the preparations, something that Oguzuli, another MP from the region, challenges. We had a meeting down in our, our conference hall to inform us about the planned program of meet the parliament having sessions in the north. Uh, all members from the north were invited and uh, we were informed that the, the meeting is going to be in Gulu and uh, the reason is to take parliament to the people. I'm not privy to any such invitation. I've checked my pigeon hall. I do not have such invitation. Is it in order for a member to impute that I, as a member of parliament, received an invitation when I have not received that invitation. On Tuesday, the opposition legislators, led by the leader of opposition in parliament, threatened to boycott the sittings, terming it as wastage of resources.